Online learning, free courses. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about fivers, commissions, and why 20% is more than fair. Now, I know a lot of people are, um, you know, uh, especially about uh, a couple years ago before Fiverr rolled out their gig packages and a lot of those um, nicer things for their sellers, a lot of people would kind of complain on blogs and forums and stuff that, oh, 20%, you know, that's, that's a lot and blah, blah, blah. And uh, it, it really isn't. And I'm going to show you why. Because first of all, when I was getting started on Fiverr, I, I started where everyone else started, right? We all started at the same place. Now, yes, some people got in on it earlier on and they got all of those sales and traffic earlier, so they got established earlier. However, it's still a level playing field out there because um, since, since we know that Fiverr is Fiverr and most people on there are wanting smaller services that are quick and affordable, you know that if you can start gigs that are at that five dollar price point you're at an advantage versus um i see a lot of people nowadays they try to start their packages off at higher um price points and that hurts them a lot because while they think they're going to make more off the bat they actually end up making less because people want to just buy that cheaper service right and especially if you're just getting started and you don't have many reviews, you need to start off at that $5 price point so that you can get a bunch of reviews and then people will see, oh, they're a good provider, they're a good seller, they, they give good service, so I wanna buy from them. Those reviews on Viver are some of the most important things that you need to keep in mind. And when you're first starting out, even if it's six months to a year, keep your prices as low as you can while still being profitable. Um, I know that's kind of hard to hear, but I'm telling you, it's going to rack up way more than if you try to set something at a higher price point because people are just going to pass over that, especially if you don't have many reviews. So that's very important um, when you're just getting started. Now, just to show you kind of what some of the earning potential can be, there are, there have been quite a few people on Viber that have broke six figures just by selling on Fiverr. It's pretty amazing. Now, I can tell you that um, here was one girl, her name's Sage. She, or, uh, I think that might be her last name. Anyway, we'll call her Sage. <laughs> um, she has earned well over six figures. And yes, she got in on the market early, but she was a voiceover artist and there is a huge market for that on Fiverr because that's typically something you know to hire a voice actor can can cost you a couple hundred dollars but on fiverr you know they can set their prices slightly lower and still make really good money and make an, a living from home doing that and i can tell you that uh a lot of like here's another one red she actually is also a voice actress and she has broken six figures as well so if you are a voice actor, get on Fiverr for sure because that is hot, hot, hot. Um, outside of that, I would say writing too. There is so, so many people need blog posts and press releases and descriptions written and Amazon listings written. I mean, just books written, editor, you know, anything to do with writing and um, marketing and voice acting and all those things you're going to be in a lot of demand um, on Fiverr. This guy, wow, he has brought in almost $200,000. That is very impressive. And wow, he just started selling drum loops. And I guess, so I guess he's a, a, a musician. And then he switched to jingles and the ukulele. Wow, so if you're a musician, that's awesome. That's another uh, great, highly demanded service on Fiverr. So I just, th those are just three people. Like there have been quite a few um, Fiverr, uh, you could call them Fiverr millionaires over the course of a few years, right? So 
um, people that have broken well over six figures every year just by working on Fiverr. So yes, it depends on what your market is. That's that's definitely one thing. But I'm telling you, I didn't have any experience in online marketing when I got when I first got started. So I used Fiverr to learn and to grow in, in my marketing and as an entrepreneur. And you guys can do the exact same thing. So maybe it's you know, you have some skill that you know a little bit about, but you're not a master at it yet, you can use Fiverr to help you be able to get paid to learn those things, right? That's working smarter, not harder, because who has time to read a 500 page book for no reason, right? I mean, we, we would all, all love to, we'd all love to just be able to do whatever we wanted with all of our time, but we have to manage our time. and. This will allow you to not only make money, but you can get paid to then learn things as well. So, you know, create a gig where maybe you want to learn how to type faster, or maybe you want to learn how to uh, transcribe videos, or maybe you want to learn how to edit videos, or whatever it may be, anything. Come on here, see what's already selling well, create your gig, and... Um, you know, make sure that your your covers are nice and, and bright and attention grabbing and watch the orders roll in. And then you have this initiative, this newfound motivation to go out and spend time learning more about your craft so that you can make even more money. Right. So with that being said, let's move on to the next video so that you guys can get started on Fiverr.